So it looks like you're dealing with two people. One is an older man and one is a younger man. And, uh, you know, you're trying to find a sense of balance with these two people because you've got the grasshopper card here, which is showing that situations in the balance that require careful handling. So you're dealing with a very delicate situation between uh, with these two people, uh, this older man and uh, a younger man. Now, in the past, you've got the hammock, which is taking a vacation. So you might have taken a little bit of a holiday. And you've got the tower card as well. And you're building on solid foundations at the moment. So success with effort. You're working pretty hard to get your success as well. Now, going into the future, you've got the tortoise, which says slowly but surely getting ahead. So you are trying to build success and you're trying to build stability. And you're, it's coming along, but slowly, but it is getting there. And then you've got the spear card over here, which says art heartache over what you no longer have. So you're a bit, you know, you may have had a loss in the past and you're still pretty heartbroken of it about whatever happened. Maybe you're thinking a lot about it as well. So you need to get out of that sense of feeling depressed or um, a sense of, um, you know, uh, regret about the things that you've lost and, you know, Focus your energies instead, make it positive and focus on the tortoise. And you will, you know, tortoise about getting ahead in life and you will get there. Um, and, you know, everything that we lose, we um, grow from. So all, all failures are stepping stones to success. So just remember that. Okay, so those are the energies for that week. So this is the Witch's Tarot um, by Ellen Dugan, and I'm going to use that for the main read. Okay, you've got the Knight of Wands over here. So you could well be dealing with a fire sign person, which is Aries, uh, Leo, or Sagittarius. But somebody coming in, uh, bringing, you know, there's a lot of energy over here with this person. Maybe you're having a difficult uh, situation with this person. Uh, they're being very aggressive in, um, in whatever's going on around you. But things are definitely moving very, very quickly. Now, the Knight of Wands also could be indicating... Uh, moving job, moving home to do a job somewhere else. This is a card about travel, and maybe you are thinking about traveling as well. This just could be the energy of somebody that is coming in or is in your vicinity at the moment, and it is, you know, rather fast moving, very aggressive, uh, troublesome kind of energy, you know, that gives you a lot of problems, uh, that kind of energy going on around you. So you've got the Strength card over here, which is the card that is associated with Leo. But it's also a card about, uh, you know, uh, sorting out difficulties, problems that you are trying to sort out. Um, and you will be able to, you know, just using, um, you know, a lot of thinking, thinking yourself out of that situation. Now, since you've got this Knight of Wands over here and the Strength card, you might well... Oh, and the second card, the last card is uh, uh, the King of Wands as well. So it looks like you are dealing with fire, fiery energy. So maybe fire sign people that you're dealing with. So the King of Wands is, you know, generally an older person that is also a bit difficult, um, a bit arrogant, uh, somebody that, you know, you can't uh, really tell them what to do because they know it all. They can be a bit callous at times. And it looks like there's a very strong, uh, you know, fire energy going on over here. So you're dealing with a very, very difficult pe person. There might be two people. Now, the, the other spread, um, the energy spread showed you were dealing with a younger man and an older man. And it looks like you are a younger man and an older man. Both of them seem to be, you know, of the fire sign variety. Um, and they might be giving you a lot of problems because between the two of them, you've got the strength card over here. And the strength card is showing the line. So difficult situation to deal with. And you're trying to get everything in balance. You're trying to sort things out. You're trying to bring about, um, you know, uh, a situation where there's no, um, uh, you know, you're trying to sort the anger or the aggression out. So you are dealing with two rather difficult people at this moment. Uh, it seems like a younger man and an older man. 
So in the past, you've got the Page of Wands. You've received messages. Um, you know, they might have been good messages. They might have been messages about work, about travel. Uh, a lot of information coming in um, here. So something that came in, it seems to be have been good news. On the other hand, you know, uh, it's just... Um, uh, uh, energy that was um you know a lot of energy coming in with these messages uh it could be um calling you to start a new project somewhere else or, or maybe um you applied for a job and this is something um you know that you had to start off so it, it required travel let me put it that way it required travel so this kind of message came in about news from somebody overseas or news about you having to travel and this has been this has happened in the last year now, the last few months, you've got the Temperance card over here, and this is finding that balance uh, in your life, uh, trying to get things in order, trying to to heal from situations as well. Now, the uh, Temperance card is also a card ruled by Sagittarius, which is another fire um, uh, sign. So it seems like, you know, most of this, you've got the Page of Wands over here, you've got the King of Wands over here, you've got the Strength card and the Knight of Wands, and now you've got the Temperance card in the last three months. So you've been dealing with, a uh, you know, a rather difficult situation, and you've been trying to bring in that balance, trying to bring in the peace. You can see there may have been a lot of problems. You've got the, the um, Rainbow over here that shows, you know, usually shows up after you've had to deal with very, very difficult situations. So you're trying now in this past three months to just... Uh, as they say, put oil over water, you know, to calm the situation down. You've been getting a lot of advice from a lot of people on how to do it as well, because the temperance card usually brings that in. And, you know, uh, you've been trying to even um, work so that it doesn't affect your help. So it might have been having some kind of repercussion on your help, and you've been trying to bring in healing as well with this uh, temperance card. So what's going on in your head? So it looks like you are trying to move away from these two people that you are dealing with because this person has left the two ones behind and they're looking to the future. So you're trying to make some plans to leave these two difficult people who have been giving you a lot of problems. Uh, it looks like they, you know, they're being very stubborn and very aggressive and you're trying to leave the two of them behind yeah, and uh, walk away. You're trying to move away from that situation. Um, you're looking to the future. You're making plans for the future and you want to move off. <coughs> What's coming in for you in the future? You are leaving a situation, but you're carrying a lot of burdens and responsibilities. So whatever you're doing, you are aiming, you have a goal in life. Uh, you are aiming towards something stable. You have a higher vision, but you're carrying a lot of responsibilities. And it doesn't seem like anybody's helping you uh, with these responsibilities. It might be financial um, responsibilities. It might be emotional responsibilities. Maybe you have a lot of ch children that you have to look after. This could also be that you're ta taking on a lot of responsibilities in your work. Uh, you know, things that you're not getting paid for, but you're still carrying the load. So you're doing a lot. Maybe you're just being everybody's, you know, dog's body, as they say. Uh, you are the person, the go-to person that they can just dump things on. So it seems like that is what is going on. Now, the Ten of Wands... Um, really advises because it's a 10 card that these burdens are coming to an end but you need to take the initiative of dropping these responsibilities if you don't do that then it will just weigh you down and it's making you very very tired i'm sure you're feeling extremely exhausted as well and you need to stand up for yourself you are trying to do that but everything but it seems to be coming at you you can see all these ones being pointed at this person now you're looking down at them so you are in a good position you are in a position of power and you know you don't you're not letting them overwhelm you or you, at least you're you're fighting very hard not to let all these responsibilities um overwhelming uh, overwhelm you so it's important for you to start you know um speaking your truth or taking taking up that um um energy so that you can fight against this and you haven't got any swords cards that allows you to actually speak so it seems like you know this is very very physically draining on you all these responsibilities all this drama that is going on around you and you know it's almost as though you're being targeted you're the one that is has to deal with it so you've got the ace of wands coming in so a new strength coming in something that you can use a transformation over here. So it looks like power is coming into you. So uh, you've got the Ten of Wands and next to that card is the Ace of Wands. So whatever responsibilities you have here, you've got to drop them and just pick one. 
and you pick that particular one responsibility and that is the thing that is going to allow you to move forward so these 10 are just weighing you down the one is left standing you can still see in the background there's the castle you've got to pick up pick one thing that you want to do one thing that you're good at one thing that you have the power in and you have to use that to move forward towards your goal your stability goal so whatever it is you've got to drop everything else um, and that seems to be the only way you're going to be able to come out of the situation is to drop everything else. Just pick the one and move forward and that will bring you freedom and, tra and transformation. So what you are, what's going on with you? This is your card, the Queen of Cups. Uh, but it's also a card about looking to the past, regretting about what's happened, being a bit depressed about it, trying to find answers. She's looking into a cup, trying to find answers. Now, um, you know, this all card could also talk about being dependent on maybe alcohol or any kind of antidepressant kind of um, 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 drugs or, you know, things that... Um, um, make the uh, consciousness hazy. So try not to get any, um, uh, you know, hooked onto anything that is going to affect your, um, the clarity of, of seeing things. And, you know, it's a card where, you know, you need to stop uh, being depressed about things and stop looking to the past. If the past is depressing you, just don't think about it. Try and think about something else. Every time your mind goes onto the past, change the topic in your head. And this is the way you're going to come out of it. Because it is something, you know, with all the fire going on around you, all the fire energy that is around you, this card comes out. And, you know, um, it is showing that you are not uh, coping with the situation or you're not really at ease with the situation around you. You are fighting uh, an uphill battle here uh, because the, you, you are coming across as being that fire, a water sign person, but you're dealing with fire energy. So you need to actually start thinking like how uh, a fire sign would, you know, a very aggressive kind of uh, thought or um, handling things in a, in a more aggressive way than what you're doing. You can't be soft about it because it seems like you're surrounded by rods and yet you are still being that um, you know emotional soft person that you're being and you're thinking about the past and you're regretting about things that you didn't do things that you didn't complete or you, you might be saying that I wish I had gone the other way uh, and if I had gone the other way I would have been in a better position so it's time for you to change that mindset so going into the future, you've got the Four of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Knight of Cups. The Four of Pentacles is showing that you're hanging on to finances quite a bit. And maybe this is the reason why you're carrying so much of those responsibilities. So you're trying to save your, your money as far as possible, but doors seem to be closed to you. You can see this man is sitting uh, in front of a closed door. And that opportunity is there. There's a wreath in front of this door which says that you can open this door and go in. This wreath of invitation inviting you to come in, showing that, you know, you're hanging on to your uh, whatever you have, but you don't see an opportunity that is just waiting for you uh, to take it. And, you know, you are the one that needs to go up there and open that door. It might take a little bit of effort because this man is sitting on stairs. So you might have to do, um, you know, something uh, that requires effort in order for you to open the door for this opportunity to be uh, made available to you. You might need to go and ask people for help or ask somebody on how you can actually do it. There might be some hurdles that you have to face uh, to open this door, but this is the door that will open and allow you to come out of this mindset of feeling lack. You've got the tower. So the tower might be the actual thing that you need in your life to get rid of all these problems so you know the towel comes and it clears things away so if you're carrying all these burdens and you really can't let go of them then the towel comes in and you know it shifts all kinds of authority figures out of the way because it's almost like a message coming in from God and it moves people that are no longer serving you out of it actually kicks them out of that situation if you are the one that is um you know <coughs> excuse me your worst enemy, it'll take you out of that situation. Uh, so what it does is it clears pathways. It's like, you know, um, having a huge explosive in your pathway uh, to clear it, to clear out all the rubble. So that's what the tower comes it does. It comes in either as a message or somebody doing something or some kind of incident coming in that actually clears the way for you. It might cause devastation in its wake, but it is usually something uh, that allows the pathway to be opened. It opens doors 
uh, you know, and it opens pathways. So the tower energy coming in, maybe you can't get unstuck from these responsibilities with the Ten of Wands, but it wants to bring in the Ace of Wands for you, this new opportunity that will bring you transformation. So it looks like the tower is going to be coming in and it's going to be changing your mindset. And immediately after that, you get the Knight of Cups coming in. So there's an offer coming in for you after that, something that you want. And it is you know, more in keeping with you because this is um, also from the water sign uh, family because it's the Knight of Cups. So some offer coming in that's going to make you happy and it's going to be something that you can relate to, something that you can uh, accept. So something is coming in, but first there is going to be a clearing of the way, a clearing of the path, an opening of doors, and it seems like the tower is going to bring it. It's going to be pushing out people. Uh, maybe there are people that are bullying you. You've got the crown falling over here. So people in authority that are bullying you are going to be shifted and moved out of the way. And the doorway is going to be opened for you for this new offer to come in. So although you're going through a very difficult phase right now with a lot of responsibilities, it looks like there's some kind of uh, event that is coming in that is going to shift things, take you out of this defensive position, take you from the Ten of Wands into the ace of wands so it's going to bring you out of it and you are dealing with very very difficult people at the moment so it seems like that tower energy is the thing that is needed in order for for this new thing to come in this knight of cups to come in this new opportunity so i'm just going to draw some cards from this goddess inspirational oracle I'll just draw three cards from it and then i shall draw some cards from the um, angel tarot so it's the first card that's fallen is the shining heaven, which is you are meant to shine, go out into the world and reflect the light. So you need to show, um, you know, have faith in your worthiness and know that you are very capable of doing things. You're meant to, you know, you're not meant to be uh, trampled over. You mean meant not to stay in the, in the darkness. You're meant to be in the light. Everybody's supposed to be seeing you. So you need to actually show that you are worthy of all that, um, you know, show people that you have you you can do it. You are very capable. And the second one is uh, the goddess of eternity, which says, "Find what is eternal within yourself." So you really have everything. You need to have that confidence to shine because you have everything it takes to be big and great. And the second one is celebrate your femininity with pride, queen of the moon. So the moon card is generally a card that is ruled by Pisces. So you can shine you know you've got the ability to shine right? but you need to show that confidence and uh, you know not let everybody walk all over you because it seems like you know people are taking advantage of you with the ten of rods they seem to be walking all over you giving you their burdens and uh, you know and expecting you to do it without question and you know you can't uh, continue in that kind of manner so you've got the Eight of Earth, which says skilled work is rewarded, rewarding, learning all there is to know about a topic or going back to school. So it looks like, you know, you're working pretty hard. You might need to, to do a new course. Now, I told you, you can open the door over here to improve your financial situation, but there's something that you need to do first. So it might actually just be going back to school or taking a course, a refresher course to improve your skill set. And the second one is fear surrounding money, the wisdom to accept help from others, uncertain self-employment now you do have fear about money because you can see with this four of pentacles this man is really clinging on to this finance on onto his money onto his savings He's got both his feet down uh, holding those coins so you do have this fear about money and maybe this is what's making you work so hard now the ten of air says the end of a difficult situation embrace the change and expect things to get better recovering from an addiction so this is about leaving everything behind and everything moving forward with the Ten of Airs, the Ten of Swords. So something is coming to cut out all that negative situation. And like I said, the, the tower is coming in as something to, um, you know, change the energies. These energies are very stagnant. You're being taken advantage of. Now that um, Ten of Air says this difficult situation will end and a change will come. If you are suffering from any kind of um, addiction, uh, you know, you need to address that. Uh, don't look for things to escape. Escapism, escapism doesn't work. You know, it just, it might deaden the pain, but it doesn't work. So you need to, uh, um, you know, move away from that kind of thing if that's what you're doing. You know, escapism can be anything. It could be drugs. It could be doing, uh, you know, something, overindulging in something that really is not good for you. Overeating, 
uh, over exercising, over shopping, you know, it can be anything. So it's a time to address that addiction if you have one. And uh, all these situations will, the situation will come to an end and change is coming in for you. So things are going to start improving. And it looks like this Knight of Cups is bringing in something good, a new offer, a new change, somebody coming to help you out in this particular situation. Um, this could well even be a fellow uh, a water sign. So it could be um, a Cancer, Scorpio or uh, another Pisces person coming in to help you. But somebody that's very emotional and somebody understands you. Uh, you know, you've got a lot of harsh fire energy going on uh, for, for you. And um, now somebody that is more understanding of your situation will emerge after this tower moment. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.